dear students welcome to today's class <coughs> today i am going to explain almost the major topics of from algebra and calculus and geometry okay now so without value, uh, wasting our valuable time so let us start our class the first problem is from complex number if z is a complex number of unit modulus and the argument of z is theta then the argument of 1 plus z upon 1 plus z conjugate is equal to so it is given that z is a complex number of unit modulus that means the modulus of z is equal to 1 that means and one more thing is given argument of z argument of z is equal to theta is given now he is asked to find out the argument of 1 plus z upon z conjugate okay now so very very easy problem it was asked in 2013 mains so it is given as argument of 1 plus z by 1 plus z conjugate means we can write down 1 by z z conjugate is 1 by z so this is equal to if you simplify this so 1 plus z 1 plus z will cancel again you will get argument of z argument of z is nothing but given it is theta so option c is your right answer so very very easy problem that is such type of problems are also giving in je mains examinations okay now so i hope that you understand this solution let us go for next problem dear students welcome to second problem for a positive integer n <coughs> If the quadratic equation, it is a given a quadratic equation, but it is not in our general form. That means ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. It is not in that form. Has two consecutive integral solution. Consecutive integral solutions means what? 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9. Otherwise, minus 7, minus 8. That type of two solutions are there. Then n is equal to. Very, very easy problem. First of all, positive integer n is a positive integer and moreover it is a quadratic equation it is given so converting that in the general form that is ax square plus bx plus c form is very very important thing if you convert that into general form the problem is over then how to convert it here? so let us see this multiply first here x square plus x so if you multiply this is a x square plus 3x plus 3 so on so here x square plus x into n n plus n minus 1 into x that means uh, n minus 1 x plus n into n minus 1 so this is equal to 10 n so what i am going to do is x square x square x square all x square write it in a bracket so this is x square plus x square so on x square how many x squares are there <clears throat> let us check it here x square here if it is 2 x square 2 x square like that what the last term here n so such a type of x squares are how many are there so these are n x squares are there okay now next to take the constant uh, sorry x to coefficients here x coefficient is how much 1 here 3 next what you will get 1 and 2 no next what you will get 2 3 means 2 plus 3 5 will come plus so on last one is what last one what you will get x coefficient here so if you observe here so this is a <coughs> minus n plus 1 so up to 2 n minus 1 so 2n minus 1 it is an odd number plus 2n minus 1 that is a x term coming to constants here 1 is there here it is a 1 is there next that means constant term it is a 1 plus next here what is the constant term 1 into 2 plus next one 2 into 1 into 2 next 2 into 3 so on last constant term n into n minus 1 this is a last constant term is equal to 10 n understand so x square x square how many x squares are there n x squares are there therefore that's why we can write it as n x square 
1 plus 3 plus 5 so on 2n minus 1 they are odd numbers odd numbers we know the formula sum of n odd numbers sum of n odd numbers is nothing but n square x plus now coming to here what is the sum of this series what is the sum of this series means what is the nth term here n into n minus 1 that is the nth term last term constant term last term that means nth term is n into n minus 1 what is sn what is sn sigma t n what is sigma t n that means a sigma n square minus n that is sigma n square means how much n into n minus 1 into 2 n minus 1 n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 by 6 minus what is sigma n n into n plus 1 by 2 so take n into n plus 1 by 2 common outside take n into n plus 1 by 2 common outside here what you will get 2n plus 1 by 3 minus 1. So, if you simplify this, if you simplify this, you will get, you will get the answer this as n into n square minus 1 upon 3. n into n square minus 1 upon 3 minus here 10 is there, minus 10n is there, this is equal to 0. So, try to simplify this, you will get a uh, uh, minus uh, <coughs> 4n and you will get a factorization and ultimately you will get n into n square minus 1 upon 3 minus 10. Already uh, that side 10n is there. If you bring this side minus 10 is equal to 0. Okay now. So if you observe here, here it is a uh, n is there, here also n is there, here also n is there, here also n is there. You can uh, cancel with the n since n is not equal to 0. Therefore, this is a x square. So this is a uh, nx plus this is a n square minus 1 upon 3 minus 10 is equal to 0 okay still you can simplify this and you will get a quadratic equation okay so let us continue our solution dear students let us continue the solution so here what i will do now here it is a <coughs> denominator 3 is there no so multiply with 3 so this is equal to 3x square plus 3nx plus n square minus 1 minus 30 is equal to 0. So, 3x square plus 3nx plus this is n square minus 31 is equal to 0. This is a required quadratic equation that is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now, up to now what we did know given equation whatever may be the given equation we converted it into an equation a quadratic equation form that is a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. So, I'll definitely so every quadratic equation will have at most two roots but those two roots here it is given has two consecutive integral solution. Consecutive means what? What is the difference of the two consecutive numbers? It is 1 that means we do not know which is a bigger one which is a smaller one. So, this is 1 consecutive the difference of those two consecutive uh, integers uh, roots is equal to 1. So, now from this what you can say we can say like this uh, alpha minus beta whole square this can be written as alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta this is equal to 1 this squaring on both sides squaring on both sides alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta is equal to so, from this alpha plus beta sum of the roots that is minus 3n by 3 minus 3n by 3 whole square minus 4 into alpha into beta product of the roots c by a that is a n square minus 31 by 3 is equal to how much 1. So, here 3 3 will get cancelled minus n that means n square minus 4 into n square minus 31 by 3 is equal to 1 right from this <coughs> again you will get a quadratic equation in n again you have to solve but no i think no need to do that much so here option verifications are there so let us consider any one of the option and uh, substitute here let us check the answer you will get or not so let us take n is equal to 11 so 11 square is 121 minus 4 121 minus 31. 121 minus 31 means it, it is 80 by uh, <coughs> so this is equal to 121 minus 30. 
so that is sorry 90 90 by 3 so 3 30 sir that is 120 121 minus 120 that is 1 you are telling therefore option d is the right answer option d is the right answer. that means what i did know up to after uh, up to getting the answer i will verify the answer let us take n is equal to 11 11 satisfying that equation therefore the value of n is 11 understand so i hope that you understand this solution the only thing is converting the given expression into quadratic equation form so if you know that skill the problem is over okay so very very easy problem this is so you better try to do this type of problems are also okay so let us go for next problem dear students welcome to third problem <clears throat> for any three positive real numbers a, a a b and c if there is an equation is given in terms of a b c then see the options they are in whether b c a or in g p b c a or in a p a comma b comma c or in a p a comma b comma c or in g p so like that different different uh, combinations are given but first uh, try to simplify the given uh, equation after that we will see whether they are uh, whether they are in a p or g p uh. so first you multiply with uh, 9 here they are 25 and 15 so see here 9 25 are so 45 9 to are 18 225 a square plus 9 b square so this is 25 c square this is a 75 ac okay now take uh, that right hand side quantity is also left hand side so this is equal to minus 45 a b minus 15 b c is equal to 0 right altogether 1 2 3 4 5 6 terms are there now see here 225 a square 225 a square we can write it as a perfect square as a 15 a whole square this 9 b square 3 b whole square 25 c square this is a 5 c whole square 5 c whole square 75 a c 75 a c means what see here 15 a into 5 c 15 a into 5 c 75 a c minus 45 a b 45 a b you multiply these two so this is a 15 a into 3 b that is 45 a b 9 15 b c 15 b c means you multiply these three 3 b into 5 c is equal to 0 so from this what can you say so <coughs> this is of the form this is of the form x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x is equal to 0 let it wrong x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x is equal to 0 this can be written as this can be written as we can it write it as x minus y whole square plus y minus z whole square plus z minus x whole square is equal to 0 as we can write how x square here also one x square will come 2x square here 2 will get cancelled plus y square plus y square 2y square plus z square plus z square 2z square minus 2xy minus 2yz minus 2z 2zx from all these you can take two common right side you will get the answer okay so take 2 2 also right hand side it will become 0 again it is in the form of x minus y whole square plus y minus z whole square plus z minus x whole square that means so wherever if you get l square plus m square plus n square is equal to 0 this must be l is equal to 0 m is equal to n is equal to 0 this then only it is possible of course if l and n are positive real numbers since he is there is given real numbers there must be l value m value n value there must be equal to 0 that means x minus y should be equal to 0 y minus z should be equal to 0 z minus x is also should be equal to 0 x minus y is equal to 0 means what x is equal to y y minus z is equal to 0 y is equal to z z minus x is equal to 0 means what z is equal to x therefore they are x is equal to y is equal to z okay now so x is equal to y is equal to z means what 15a 
is equal to 3b is equal to 5c. 15a is equal to 3b is equal to 5c. So, 15, 3, 5. So, can I divide with uh, uh, any one number 15, 3, 5 means can I divide with 15. So, this becomes a by 3 by 5. Uh, otherwise, you can take this is equal to some k. You can take it as a uh, otherwise you can divide with 5. 15 you may divide with 5. So, a comma b by 5 is equal to c by 3. Call it as k. a by a by 1 is equal to b by 5 is equal to c by 3 is equal to k. So, let us continue the solution. Dear students, uh, let us continue the solution. So, let it be some lambda. Therefore, a is equal to lambda b is equal to 5 lambda, c is equal to 3 lambda, where lambda is a non-zero real number. So, clearly, if you observe, if you observe all these values, lambda, 5 lambda, 3 lambda. So, if you put it in order, lambda, 3 lambda, 5 lambda are in AP. That means, this is a ACB is in AP. ACB or BAC. Otherwise, you can say that... Uh, B A C. See here this uh, A value is lambda. This is 3 lambda and it is B value. So, A C B. A C B is in G B. They otherwise B C A. So, it is a B C A also. So, this is a 5 lambda. 5 lambda otherwise 3 lambda and lambda is also in A P. That means, so this is a 5 lambda means B. This is a C, A is in A, P. B, C, A is also so either A, C, B is in A, P or B, C, A. B, C, A is in A, P. So, option B is the right answer. Okay, now. So, very, very interesting problem this is. Uh, the only thing is you have to convert this equation in this form. A by 1 is equal to B by 3. So, one more option verification is also there. That is a... Uh, so, in place of B, put 1. In place of C, put to 2. In place of C... B, C, A, 1, 2, 3, you keep uh, the values of B value 1, C value 2, A value 3. In this, you will get, if you get left hand side is equal to right hand side, your answer is correct. Like that also you can do, but it takes some time, some time, uh, some takes some time, but it is also one of the easiest method to solve. Okay, now? So, I hope that you understand this solution. Let us go for next problem. Dear students, welcome to fourth problem. It is given that f of x plus 2 times f of 1 upon x is equal to 3x where x is not equal to 0 of course. And S is a set such that it contains all real numbers such that f of x is equal to f of minus x. Then S contains. S contains means what? Exactly one element, uh, two elements are more than two elements are no element. Okay now. That means on the whole you have to find out a function f of x such that f of x is equal to f of minus x. For this one relation is given. What is the relation f of x plus 2 times f of 1 by x is equal to 3x. Call it as first equation. From this you have to take f of x outside. How to? So, for this type of problem there is a very very easy technique is there. So, wherever x is there you replace with 1 by x. See 1 by x, 1 by x you replace. So, here x becomes 1 by x plus 2 times f of 1 upon 1 by x. It becomes f of x is equal to 3 by x. Okay. So, you want to, you have to find out the value of f of x. For that, you have to remove f of 1 by x. So, to remove f of 1 by x here, 2 is there. Here also you multiply with 2 and after subtraction, you will get both the, uh, you will get, you will get f of x. That's why you multiply this uh, second equation with the 2. So, this becomes 2 times f of 1 by x plus 4 times f of x. This is equal to 6 by x. Call it as second equation. So, very nice. Second equation minus 1. First equation means, see here, 2 times f of 1 by x minus 2 times f of 1 by x will, will get cancelled. 4 times f of x minus f of x will become 3 times f of x. This is a 6 upon x. This is a 3x. 
here 3 is 6 3 all are multiples of 3 so therefore you can write it as a f of x is equal to 2 by x minus 3 so this is your f of x understand so this is your f of x so this is a one of the best technique to extract f of x from the given expression the simply uh, replacing x and uh, in place of 1 by x and uh, subtracting automatically f of 1 by x 1 by x will get cancelled you will get f of x is equal to 2 upon x minus 3 okay so from this we will apply this condition and we will get an equation from that we will solve this solve that equation we will get the answer okay so let us continue the solution dear students welcome to the remaining solution here f of x is equal to f of minus x so wherever x is there substitute minus x this is minus 2 by x plus 6 these two are equal that is a 2 by x minus x is equal to 2 by x plus x take if you take the plus x <coughs> so this is also plus x so 2 by x minus x is equal to minus 2 by x plus x so if you take to this side so this is a 4 by x is equal to 2x so 2 1s are 2 2s are 2 by x is equal to x, x square is equal to 2, x is equal to plus or minus root 2. So, x is a real number, x is a real number. So, if we exactly how many it will have, it more 2 elements. <coughs> it contains exactly 2 elements, that is one is plus root 2, another one is minus root 2. So, the only one thing from this problem what you have to learn is from given expression, how to extract f of x by simply substituting in place of x 1 by x if you substitute replace x in place of 1 by x automatically you will get the function f of x okay i hope that you understand this solution so let us go for next problem dear students in our examination sometimes this type of direct problems are also giving so the thing is here here x plus y is equal to k is a normal to the parabola y square is equal to 12 x then the value of k is a very very easy problem such a type of problems are also asking in je mains examination to do this problem so the condition what you have to learn is so if it is a parabola y square is equal to 4ax if it is a normal what is the normal y is equal to mx plus c the line y is equal to mx plus c will become the normal to the parabola y square is equal to 4ax if and only if the condition is c is equal to minus am minus minus 2am minus am cube this is the condition c is equal to minus 2am minus am cube this is the condition for a line for a line y is equal to mx plus c to be a normal to the parabola y square is equal to 4 x very easy now take this problem so y is equal to minus x plus k so this is y is equal to mx plus c form where m is equal to minus 1 c is equal to k now take this y square is equal to 12 x y square is equal to 4 a x a is equal to 3 a is equal to 3 okay now now substitute all these values in the given equation c is equal to that is equal to k is equal to minus 2 into a value 3 m value minus 1 minus a value 3 m value minus 1 whole cube that is equal to 6 minus 3 6 plus 3 9 so k value is 9 so very very easy problem so the only thing this condition you have to know if you know the condition the problem is a very very easy one okay now so let us go for next problem dear students welcome to uh, next problem for each t belongs to real numbers let step of t be the greatest integer function you know what is greatest integer function then limit extends to 0 plus x of step of 1 by x plus step of 2 by x plus so on step of 15 by x value is how much he is asking right so to do this problem first we should know what is a step x definition what is a step x definition if you know that step x can be written as x minus fractional part of x so this fractional part means it lies between 0 to 1 so it is not 1 exactly 1 it lies between 0 to 1 
it lies between 0 to 1 fractional part of x. So, step of x is equal to x minus fractional part of x. So, like that now coming to the given problem limit x tends to 0 plus x into this can be written as 1 by x minus fractional part of 1 by x plus step of 2 by x can be written as 2 by x minus fractional part of 2 by x plus so on 15 by x minus fractional part of 15 by x ok na right. So, this 1 by x plus 2 by x plus 15 x right all together at one place and uh, minus 1 by x minus fractional part of minus 1 by x fractional part of minus 2 by x all at one place. So, now this will become limit x tends to 0 plus this is 1 by x plus 2 by x plus so on 15 by x minus of fractional part of 1 by x plus fractional part of 1 2 by x plus so on fractional part of 3 by x ok now right. So, if you observe limit x tends to 0 plus x t into here LCM is x LCM is x here 1 plus 2 plus 15. So, sum of the first 15 natural numbers is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 that means 15 into 16 by 2 15 into 8 15 into 8 means 120 120 minus this whole thing this whole thing if you observe this whole part whole part lies between this whatever may be thus lies between 0 to 1 why because all are fractional parts only only from all are lies between 0 to 1 all lies between 0 to 1 as x value tends to 0 as x value tends to 0 as x value increases all those fractional value becomes 0 this will become 0 here x x also will get cancelled so this is equal to 120 so is equal to 120 so it is asked in 2018 uh, mains examination so very very nice problem so dear students uh, i hope that you enjoyed today's class and uh, tomorrow onwards uh, i will uh, <coughs> come with a uh, few more problems which were previously asked in je mains so very very important models i will come so, I hope that you are all preparing well for your examinations uh, which are going from today onwards. Okay? So, all the best for your examinations. So, meet you tomorrow.